rink rats as we call them. I'm Tim Edwards um, and I have been looking after the rinks at Crest Knights for coming up 21 years. Well, in making ice, um, it, it, it's obviously fairly simple because the puddles on the street or a parking lot or you see beautiful, beautiful ice on, on lakes or ponds. Um, but it actually is a lot more tricky uh, when you're trying to do it like that, to try to get that perfectly smooth surface. And, uh, and when there's people that are either skating or cleaning and, and, uh, and the temperatures and, and the thickness of the floods, if it's, it's, if it's very, very cold, your water wants, you, you want some warm water so it goes into a very small layer, thin layer, and it'll bond to a surface. If it's, if it's so cold, the top of the ice will freeze below the, below the or uh, faster than the bottom of the ice, and then, and then it doesn't bond and it spalls off. So uh, then on a nice warm day, even up to two degrees, you can put on a very, very thick coat. And, and it just acclimatizes and, and as it starts to cool down with the rest of the ice in the night, it, it ends up being a really nice, smooth, bonded surface. If there's a heavy snowfall, lots of times we'll, um, and a heavy snowfall is even just a couple of inches of snow. Uh, uh, e even just a few millimeters of snow is a lot for one volunteer to try to scrape off. I decided to get involved. Actually, it was somewhat thrust upon me because the a couple of the fellows that were doing it back then had been doing it for some time and, and uh, were at the end of their term. And they said, Tim, I, you look like you have some interest. If you don't do it, uh, we'll just close the rinks. We have a, a, a tight group of volunteers, as you've met. Uh, uh, about eight, eight or ten uh, guys ranging in age, probably from their 30s to 60s, and uh, they just keep coming out year after year, and and we almost can do it with our eyes closed now. There, there's a lot. There's hundreds and hundreds of hours of volunteerism that goes into this, uh, just this little rink, uh, every year. I've had a lot of people ask me, why do you do the hockey rinks? And uh, um, I grew up in a neighborhood that had hockey rinks when I was growing up. I spent a lot of time there as a kid and I just think uh, hockey rinks and, the, and whether it be the sound or the sound of the puck off a, off a steel post, it, it roots a community, it brings them together, it gives, it gives people a place to go, especially kids and teenagers. I've had people say it's the glue of the community. It brings people together. It gives them a place to go. Lately, there's been a fire pit put on the far side of the of the hockey rink that again just gives that that opportunity for somebody to come out and enjoy the outdoors, get some fresh air, some exercise, and then and and, and have a have a very informal way to interact with with what could be your neighbor or or somebody who you've never had a chance to meet. We've described ourselves as elves that come in the night or, or whatever because most of our work happens later after the skaters have gone. I've been out on the rinks at one or two in the morning if I haven't been sleepy and, and you turn on the hockey, uh, the, the rink lights and, and you give it a scrape and a flood. It's unbelievably peaceful on a, on a clear sky, starlit night. Um, and you're out there listening to the crackle of the ice. As bad as they can be skated and cut up and broken, uh, a layer of water and a fresh coat puts them right back to brand new.